Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the push to start switch on your dryer. It's a really easy repair. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we will be working near some electrical circuits. So the first thing we'll need to do is to disconnect power to the dryer. So either pull it far enough forward that you can unplug it, or locate the electrical panel, turn off the appropriate breaker, or remove the appropriate fuses. Now once we've done that, we will need to pull it far enough forward that we can remove the back panel and then we can change out the part. So we'll begin by pulling the knob off of the old push to start switch. Simply pull it off, but make sure that the metal insert is still inside of the knob. And if not, you'll need to remove it from the old start switch. Also inspect that knob and make sure that there's no cracks in it. And if there is, you'll need to replace that as well. Now we'll remove the back panel so that we can change out that switch. Simply remove the retaining screws. Lift the back panel away. And if we look inside, we'll locate that push to start switch and you'll see that there is a spring type plastic tab that locks that switch into position on the back of the control panel housing. Now with the back panel removed, our next step will be to remove the wires from the old switch. And typically they're on there quite snug. So if they don't pull off easily, take a pair of needle nose pliers, grasp the connector, and then pull them off. If they're on really snug, you'll need to pry against the body of the switch to get enough leverage to pull them off. Just make sure that we don't distort the shape of that connector or they won't fit snug when we reattach them to the new switch. Now you'll also note that there is a plastic stop that fits into a little slotted hole in that frame. So what we need to do is just lift that stop out of that hole and then we're going to rotate that switch about an eighth of a turn. and then slide it out. We can discard the old switch. When we take the new one, you'll note that square shape of the housing has to fit into that opening. So we'll position the little plastic stop off to the left-hand side of that. Press the switch into the opening and then rotate it. You'll need to keep a little pressure on that switch to make sure it engages. And rotate it until that stop drops into the opening. We can then reattach the wires and make sure that they fit on nice and snug. And if they appear a little bit loose, just take the needle nose pliers and just crimp them slightly. So that we get a nice tight fit. And now we can put the back panel back on. And now we can position the dryer back into place. We'll reinstall that knob. Again, make sure that the insert is in the old knob. Line up the flat side of the switch. Press that knob firmly into place. And now we can push the dryer back into place. We're now ready to push the dryer back into position, reconnect the power, and your repair is complete. 